Hey YouTube, this is Cam here. And last weekend, I went on a little trip with my girlfriend and some of her family to Stump House Tunnel in Wahala, South Carolina. Now it's about a... Well, we left from Spartanburg, South Carolina to pass through Traveler's Rest. So that was about an hour there. Now past Traveler's Rest to Wahala is about another hour. So the trip was about two hours long, and about two hours-ish back. Basically, we went to um, her father, um, met up with him, her sister rode with us, and, well, actually her sister was driving, but we headed up to Stub House Tunnel in Wahala, which I'll get to the backstory of the history of that place soon. But we took a little trip because her father found out about the place, and it sounded really interesting. We actually, our initial interest was to go ghost hunting, which I've never done before, but uh, her family has. All went with her father, her sister, and my girlfriend all have gone ghost hunting. I have never. So it was a new experience for me. So that was our initial intent because we heard some stories about the place. But... Also, I was interested about the history of it, too, because be, me being a history buff, that was really interesting, at least to me. So we met up with her dad, then we all just, he rode on his motorcycle, we followed him, and we went up to um, Mahala. Now, a little bit about the story, the history of this place. Um, before the Civil War, they started building a train tunnel that would connect, um, uh, what was it, it would connect... Basically, it would connect, you know, Wahala, of course, but it would go all the way to um, Charleston. I mean, it was, it was going to be huge. So, like, so many miles, it was going to be huge. And, I mean, the initial intent to build it was because, I mean, it would cut back time so fast. And it would just, I mean, clearly the reason is obvious. But from the get-go, there was problems. I mean, they're cutting through granite rock, which is really hard to, but then the Civil War started, this was like pre-Civil War, then the Civil War started, and everything was stopped, um, there were many attempts to try to continue it, and it is, there was no funding, there was nothing like that really, during the Civil War, um, there's a legend behind this place, which I found really interesting, so they had Irish workers, and also, I believe, um, uh, enslaved or freed blacks working too. Um, they had about I uh, don't don't quote me on this, but about this is my first trip here, so I'm not an expert, so it has to be a lot more research than you do. But here's what I know. Um, from what I can remember, I mean, don't don't quote me on this, but there's about a thousand Irish families living there in the town, and basically, the Confederates could not pay the Irish workers for their work. And so the Irish workers protested, and this is the legend, I believe. I don't know if it's true, but I didn't see nothing about it when I was there on the plaques or anything. But the legend is, basically, the Irish workers protested, and the Confederate soldiers not being able, not in the Confederacy, not being able to pay them back. And because they were protesting, shot them down. And basically, the legend says that they were, you know, dragged up the, the hill above the um, train tunnel, which you will see later. Because me and my girlfriend hiked up there. And basically they were buried on top. Which I don't own, understand why they would do that. Instead of burying them, you know, on close on the ground. I don't know why they would drag their bodies up there. But I don't know. It's just a legend. I don't know if it's true. If anyone has any more information on that, um, please share. And your opinion. I don't know if that's true or f not true, if you think so. But I like to think it was true. I mean, that would be pretty interesting. I mean, it's sad for them, but it's a cool bit of um, lore for the area. So, they never finished the train tunnel, obviously. Um, after the Civil War, there was this, there were some attempts, I believe, to continue it, but they just never came to um, fruition, fruition. And um, fast forward, cl uh, Clemson University took over the area and the tunnel. They got rights to it or something like that. And they used it for, 
I believe it was like blue cheese or something. They used it to make it and like use the tunnel and everything because it was perfect for it, the conditions. And so they blocked off like you can go farther, like you'll see in the video. But as you can see here, they can go like the tunnel just goes on and on and on. But basically they put a gate up and you can't go past a certain area. You can go to a certain point in the um, tunnel. But after that, you're kind of just blocked off by a gate. And it's just, it's a really interesting place. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun reading, like, the history. Um, I mean, my girlfriend had a lot of fun, too. There's a waterfall, too, which has a, which has a legend behind it. I can't remember the name right now. Um, the Killowee, the Killowee Falls, I believe. Um, I believe that's what it is. But basically, it's a legend of, like, this... Um, Indian princess fell in love with a white um, trapper, I believe, and her tribe tried to didn't approve, and they kind of chased her down. And she, instead of giving up to them, she jumped off the falls. And and there's two versions. One version is that she died. The other one is that she hid underneath a waterfall, and she escaped. Um, how much of that's true, I don't know. Um, I would like to believe that she escaped, but I have no evidence. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, it's my first trip up here. I need to do more research. But it's actually a really cool, interesting place. The waterfall is really beautiful, as you can see from these pictures right here. I mean, it's really nice. Um, got to remind myself to take pictures, you know, long ways, not, you know straight up and down because that's terrible for videos but as you can see from pictures here's you know the falls it's really nice um they have like a train cart too that's kind of been dismantled a little bit that you can like get on top of take pictures and everything um and by the ghost stories um there's because of the irish people who legend that they die the workers die there um it's believed that it is haunted but I did not find no evidence. I didn't feel nothing. I mean, I don't know. I personally don't think it's haunted, really. I mean, we all have our own beliefs. And, I mean, I don't know. That's another video for another day. But, anyway. Yeah, well, me and my girlfriend, like, as you can see up here, this is the train tunnel. <coughs> and on top of it, you can hike up. And it goes really far back. And basically it goes to a point where, like, there's this gate, and it's, like, blocked off, but there's, like, a way you can get through it that's been, like, like torn apart or whatever. You can get through it, and you look down, and there's this big hole that's, like, really far. You throw a rock down there, it takes about three seconds for it to, like, actually hit the bottom. It's really cool. And it's, like, a, it's not where it's caved in. It's just, maybe, I don't know. It's just, basically it's just, like, a... It wasn't exploded with dynamite or anything. It's just a hole that's there. I mean, I don't know if it's just caved in or whatever, but I don't know. It's not. It hasn't been exploded by um, dynamite or anything like that because I can just tell because it's pure rock and everything. Also, side note for the history of this place on why the Irish workers were upset. Um, Father Jeremiah Joseph O'Connell, um, the man you see in this picture before you, he was a Catholic priest, also born in Ireland, but basically he came to Wahala on request, from what I believe, by the um, the railroad company, you know, and he saw like the lawlessness going on here. See, the town was like full of taverns and bars and everything like that. You know, a tavern is a bar, but you know what I mean. Like people like only had one day off. I mean, think about this: they only had one day off, Sunday. And you know they would drink. I mean, they had they were paid terribly. They working working conditions were terrible, and they had one day off. So what did they do? I mean, they drank. Um, but J Father Joseph saw this, and he thought of it as lawlessness and sin, and he thought that them drinking was worse than the can terrible conditions they were being put under by the railroad co by the railroad company. So believe what you will. Um, state your opinions below. I would love to hear them. But I do believe that he was a sellout. I mean, he maybe he was just so strongly in his beliefs that he was blinded. But 
take what you will from that. I mean, I want to hear what you all have to say about him. But basically, like, he, in a way, made prohibition laws against alcohol. Um, so basically, that made the Irish even more mad. Because now, like, they don't, I mean, let's be honest, they don't want to spend their one day off in church. Um, so they just had terrible, terrible working conditions. They had terrible pay, and at and at one point, no pay at all. And they, one thing they could do was, you know, drink. That was pretty much taken away from them. So they protested when they couldn't get paid, and the legend has it that they were shot down by Confederate soldiers. So take what you will from the Father Joseph. State your opinions below if you think he was a sellout or the strongest beliefs or what do you believe? Maybe you know more about him than I do, but from what my, from what I've researched, I just believe that he was a sellout, but also he was against slavery from what I've researched. So I don't know. I don't know the whole situation. I'm not going to say anything really because I don't know the whole situation. But from what I've read and researched so far, the articles I've seen, he was a sellout. He was just a bad guy. But, I mean, maybe he didn't even realize it. Maybe he just was so strong in his beliefs. But state what you feel in the below. Um, but, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I mean, going, I recommend going to Wahala in general. The town is really cool. There's German flags hanging up everywhere. But, um, Stub, ha Stub Nose, oh, gosh. Stump House Tunnel is a really cool site for history buffs. Um, the lore behind it is interesting, and if you just go hiking, it's really cool. I mean, it's a nice little hike. I had fun with my girlfriend. I had a great time, and I just want to thank y'all for watching. Um, I want you all to, in the comments below, state if you think that the uh, legend of the Irish workers are true. If you wanna, if you believe that the or don't believe that the Native American princess legend is true or not, um, let me know what you, if you've been here. Let me know if you want to go here. You know, let me know what your opinions are about Father Joseph. Just let me know about your opinion on everything. Um, there's a lot of, from what I got got from this, there's a lot of class issues here. You know, the railroad company, the workers, Father Joseph, there's religion played on here. This is really interesting, and it's, and it can be really deep if you think about it. So I'd love to have a conversation with y'all. Every opinion is welcomed. Every single opinion is welcomed. So please state your opinion. Don't bash anybody. Don't just tear people down. Everyone has their opinion. Let's all work to learn truth. This is your boy Cam. Talk to y'all later. Thank y'all. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.